Kevin Deering with Mala Clean Weight, and today we're going to discuss using plastic bleach to check for main vertical oil clearance after replacing a set of main bearings. Uh, today we're at Ferris State University's machine shop lab, and we'd like to thank the university and Mr. Gary Deage for letting us use the facility for this video presentation today. As you can see, we have a big block Ford on the engine stand here that's got a new short block going together. We did put a new set of bearings in it, so we want to see what the oil clearance is going forward before we finish the build. I have Mr. Gage here, and he's going to demonstrate using the plastic gauge to check that. What we did is we took the number one main cap off, and we're going to set the plastic gauge 90 degrees to the parking line. And we do that because that's where the bearing is the thickest point. The bearing actually tapers off and, and whip towards the parting line, so you want to make sure you take your measurement at the thickest point of the bearing. So we'll go ahead and put the plastic gauge on the crankshaft here over here. Right on the top there. And what we're going to do is put the main cap with the bearing on, and then we're going to torque it down to the manufacturer specification. Now, as you're torquing the bearing, or as you're torquing the main cap, the clearance there is, is crushing the uh, plastic gauge. When it gets to the, torque, the final torque spec, the plastic gauge is going to be crushed to the final reading. At that point, you take the main cap off, you use the scale that's on the plastic gauge uh, paper there, and that'll give you your main clearance. Now that we have the main cap torque specifications, we're going to loosen it back up, take the main cap off, and see what the plastic gauge reads looking at the gauge. As you can see, the plastic gauge is at three thousandths of an inch, which indicates three thousandths oil clearance on the main journal for this engine, which is within the specifications. Now we have our main cap back on. We only did one main bearing. You want to do the whole engine to make sure everything's within specification, but for the purpose of this video, we're only going to do the one. So I hope you learned a little bit about using plastic gauge today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please visit our website, mothlebite.com, for more information.